<laughs> Hi, Juanma. You said last week that Pep not only knows exactly what he's going to do, but who he's going to do that with. Can you explain that? Can you expand on that a little? Give us some examples. It's really important to take into account who are the players you have at your disposal, not what each player should do, not only what each player should do. If we don't look at and take into advantage the, 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 the things that people can do, the missions might be similar but with different players. So Pep always has in mind the name of each player. You can't play, you can't ask two players to do the same thing. So in terms of the global way that we play, what he does is looks at the different individual characteristics. He looks at the interaction of how the players mix and play with each other on the pitch. He always thinks about the person and the type of player that that player is. Do you think that's something that we don't appreciate about the best managers in the world? Do you know what happens is when when you don't give a specific name to the player, if you talk about a left-sided fullback, yes, but what type of left-sided fullback are we talking about? They're not all the same, these fullbacks. They're different. So to, you know, take each person as an individual is very, very important. And in terms of the players that come into the side, particularly Kovacic and Nunes, in the middle of the field, it's obvious that they bring this quality of being able to attack and also dribble with the ball. And it's perhaps something that the team didn't have in the past. How important is it to have to bring something new to the team after having won so much in the last season? Each person has their own individual qualities and one of those of both those players is that. And then after that, when you look at within this context, the development that they have in terms of developing play, it also you, they also add other types of qualities. So I think both are going to be, well, one is already playing for us and the other one will come to us. I think they're going to represent a great deal for the team. Hi, Hans. Juan, great to see you again. You said a few months ago in The Athletic that you feel like a father that's kind of upset because of a, a method of playing football. Why did you say that? Or that you missed out on something? Because trying to respect each person as they are, in the way that we were just speaking now, we sometimes uniform the way that you train. Up to the point where if somebody trains today in whatever country and whatever part of the world with a different cultural context, they will end up training in the same way as here. So everything has kind of gone in that way of playing two touch. You just play two touch. And in two touch, you have to play whatever passage you play, two touch. Sometimes you have to play three, and sometimes you have to play five, and sometimes you have to play first time. So I think it's... If you want to exaggerate a certain concept, it, it's, it's to the detriment of the surroundings and, and the nature that, that surrounds that player or that, that, that club. So I don't feel very happy that I wasn't able to do that. How do you maintain the creativity when you have that uniformity in terms of training? That's it. If you you end up putting everyone in the same box, they'll, they'll be so similar to each other so you won't have those curious differences in the players. So I think it's an educational process that you go through. We always go through it. It's not just football, I think it's in every walk of life. We have people that, that achieve missions, but perhaps they don't have the initiative. You'll say that they don't have the initiative. Well, Juanma. Hi. Um, you said with Cole Palmer, it's very difficult to deny a player when he wants to leave. Is this the case at Manchester City for every single player? If they, would, if they want to do something different, a new challenge, then they would be allowed to leave. Pep has always shown this in terms of what the player wants, but then it needs to fit in with 
what the club wants, the management, and then we don't get involved in that. If it doesn't fit with the club, then obviously it won't happen. We don't get involved in that. But in terms of that concept of what the player wants and the willingness of a player is, it's difficult to say that they want to go. But the club gets involved in whether it works for the club or not. I can only say that, that the club is managing the young players really, really well. That's all I can say in the matter. Juan, well, obviously the, the young players, they want to play. Do you think younger players are impatient at the moment and, and need to be able to sort of wait for their time to, to break into a first team? And how difficult is it as a coach to be able to get them into the first team at the right time? Es que creo que estamos en tiempos. I think we are in a, in a period now not just in football, where we want things quickly. We want them quickly. I'm not saying that this is the case with, with Cole Palmer, but I'm talking in a general sense. We're in this period, in a time where sometimes we don't know where we want to go, but we know we want to get there quick. We ask, the people ask us, where are you going? And you say, I don't know, but I want to go quickly. But I'm not talking about this particular case. But yeah, it's something in the background, it's the social makeup. And I think football is not an island, it's a continent. And, and that's within everything. So we're not going to be, you know, separate ourselves from that. We're not going to be so far away from that. But I'm, I want to repeat and reiterate that this is not the case. Each person, you know, has to, he understands that this is his moment and I respect it. I respect it completely what Coll has done. But given, given the quality of players that the club are producing at the moment, it, how difficult is it for, for Pep and the coaching staff to be able to get them into the first team? Because clearly other clubs are willing to pay a lot of, a lot of money for them. Each player is different in the process. You can't establish a middle ground. Some develop quickly, some kind of uncover their talent a little bit later. So I think the club creates a really lovely atmosphere and obviously that comes from the manager at the top and I think that's, that's the path that we need to take. Hi. Um, with Cole going and with James McAtee going, um, does it feel as as a group that the group is is big enough for for all competitions this season? Look, if you know that nobody's going to get injured, we've got more than enough. As we don't know how things are going to happen, we don't know. But initially. We're looking good, but then we go back to the same thing that we've been talking about. We have the EDS, we always look at the EDS, we always look below. That also helps us to be able to bring other players in to have their place in the side. So this is remove and to con completely be regenerating that team. And uh, Oscar Bob is with the squad. Do you expect that a couple of other players from the EDS will move up quite quickly, or what's the what's the plan? Right now, the best that we have from those plays, America, that we were saying, and that's we. You can see the ones that are coming through. Then it depends on them the capacity they have to knock on the door and ask for their place and to say, I deserve to be here. That's a question of time also. Uh, about uh, Oscar Bob, um, what, do you, what do you like about what you've seen from him uh, till now? And does the Cole Palmer transfer change anything for him? Numerically, it does, of course. That's what your, your colleague just spoke about. Oscar, I've known him from the, my previous period here. Since then, he was a player that, that really stood out. But it happens with a lot of other players as well. Cole as well is a fantastic. McAtee is a wonderful player as well. Many, many players. 
But he has some very particular conditions that are valued by Pep, by the club, and valued by us. If not, he wouldn't be here. I'm telling you truly that that's something that we value a lot. But we have to let him to go through that. We have to let him go through the process. But he has great conditions. Uh, just last one for me. Jack Grealish has described uh, Erling Haaland as the best professional he ever met. Did you, what kind of details of uh, Haaland's uh, actions here in the training pitch and outside uh, is that no. you, do you appreciate? <laughs> It's a great question for Jack, because he needs to justify that. But now Erling is not just Erling, not just him. I think we have a group of professional players that show those little details that they live for the profession. Right now, just to talk about Erling wouldn't be fair, but Erling is one of them who knows how he needs to live this profession. And it's a joy to watch him every day, but he's not the only. I enjoy watching many of them, you know, to not say all of them. Uh, can you tell us the, uh, the sort of qualities that you expect Nunes to bring to the squad? I know he's not signed yet, but the time we go to press... Hopefully he will be. Can you just d describe what you like about him, what Pep likes about him as a player? Bueno, nosotros, eh, y creo que Pep ya hizo well, I think Pep eh, has, al has already a made a reference to Mateus a while back. It surprised us when we played against eh, Sporting eh, Lisbon Champions. in the Champions League. Eh, he surprised us, but in that game, it was 5-0, but everything was very quick. Everything happened quick in that game. It wasn't a real scoreline. I think he carried on playing throughout that game, showing a personality and a will to play. He was doing things very well, and also that hard work that he put in, and he has that understanding of the collective team. That, that kind of put us on guard and we thought, this player, you know, we started looking at him and having an objective to following him, so it's not a surprise for us, he's going to offer us many, many things in the future. Thank you, guys. Thank you.